Hey, look, we're back. And where we last left off, we found out why, how Dark Spawn are made, and the messed up things that happen to for, uh, to have Dark Spawn made. On top of finding out that Bronca actually had an affair with a woman, she's a lesbian. Go figure. Bisexual? Nah, nah, nah whatever. Either way, let's continue on from here. Who should we talk to? Let's talk to Ogryn. Stop wasting time, Warden. I'm not here to chat. Can't chat with him yet. Good to know. Let's talk with Shale, then. Is my inventory cleared, by the way? It speaks. I have some questions. It doesn't have better things to do. Never mind, I don't have any questions. It speaks. You're still I... with me. Does it wish me to leave? I... I'll stay, you're quite helpful. <gasps> nope, still nothing new there. I wonder, my fu I wonder if my dog has any new dialogue. Pet. Guess not. Alright, let's keep going through the dead trenches. Boom, yes. boom, and boom. Yes. Back to Orzammar. Again? Okay, no, it's just this guy. But yeah, we have since found out that uh, dark spawn are made by very, very non-PG means. On top of the fact that uh, Bronca literally abandoned Ogryn and is now a lesbian. Or was a lesbian? It's not very clear. Either way, here we are at the Anvil of the Void at last. Anvil of the Void. If Bronca is anywhere, this has to be it. She will not be unprepared. Still having to deal with this broken mic. Hopefully you can still hear me pretty well. Oh, right, I should summon something before we start. At the very start of here. Kind of annoying that I gotta keep summoning shit, though. Save. New save, because it's just the safest way to play. What was that? We're trapped. Let me be blunt with you. After all this time, my tolerance for social graces is fairly limited. That doesn't bother you, I hope. Shave my back and call me an elf. Bronca, by the stone, I barely recognized you. Ogryn, it figures you'd eventually find your way here. Hopefully you can find your way back more easily. And how shall I address you? Hired sword of the latest lordling to come looking for me? Or just the only one who didn't mind Ogryn's ale breath? Mix of both. Be respectful, woman. You're talking to a Grey Warden. Ah, so an important errand boy, then. I suppose something Girl, serious has happened. Is Enrin dead? That seems most likely. He was on the old and wheezy side. Arzmar needs a new king to defend against the Blight. The king won't defeat a Blight. We've had 40 generations of kings. And lost everything. I don't care if the assembly puts a drunken monkey on the throne. Because our protector, our great invention, the thing that once made our armies the envy of the world, is lost to the very dark spawn it should be fighting. The anvil of the void. The means by which the ancients forged their army of golems and held off the first archdemon ever to rise. It's here. So close I can taste it. But of course there's a catch. The anvil lies on the other side of a gauntlet of traps designed by Keradin himself. My people and I have given body and soul to unlocking its secrets. This is what's important. This has lasting meaning. If I succeed, the dwarven people benefit. Kings, politics, all that is transitory. I've given up everything and would sacrifice anything to get the anvil of the void. That does include Hespeth and the other houses? Enough questions. If you wish me to get involved with this imbecilic election, I must first have the anvil. There is only one way out, Warden. Forward. Through Keridan's maze, and out to where the anvil waits. What has this place done to you? I remember marrying a girl you could talk to for one minute. 
see her brilliance. I am your paragon. Yeah, <laughs> good old Bronca. She's a bit uh, abrasive, isn't she? Guess I forgot that part about her screeching in my ear every sodding day. <laughs> also, it isn't blatantly clear. I'll forget the anvil and then she'll come home and everything will be better. Also, it isn't blatantly clear. Sodding is his literal word for fucking. It's like, get that, get off my fucking launch kind of mindset, you know? Dwarf corpse. Dwarf. I should save here. So I don't have to go through that entire cutscene again. Not that it would take too long. If I'm just gonna skip it. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? I needed people to test Kerrigan's trap. There's no way to break through. Got it. Trial and error. I sent them in. They were all mine. To be my house. And they didn't want to help. They tried to leave me. Even my Hespeth. But even she couldn't understand that when you reach for greatness, there are sacrifices. Now's better than later. As as many sacrifices as are needed. Uh huh. You tell yourself that, fam. Oh, hi. Got my song of courage up. Yep. Or she'd do whatever it took to find the ant. There was no other choice. Most of them were dying of the taint already. But some, some of the women were transforming. I knew yeah. what would come. There would be an endless supply, fresh dark spawn to test the traps. They could still serve me. Let me find the anvil. So she let what was happening way. happen for the sake of having more bodies to throw at these traps. If it isn't clear. She's not a good person. Or she's been corrupted by her... Her literal white whale of finding the anvil has corrupted her to a point of, like, she just sees life as something to be disposed of to help her further her goals. If, if you... Yeah. I need to throw a rock at you. We have an emissary. Still perfect. I can still use your buff. No idea how they carried on, holding my hand and begging to die. They had pledged me their loyalty. They have no right to fight me. They say your order is renowned for its wits as well as its brawn. 
Perhaps you'll do better than my poor clansmen. There's something about this place. It makes people despair. I'll get on it. I'm not telling you what the anvil is, by the way. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a metaphorical anvil. So you can get off my back. Got it. Ogre. Move, 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 move. talking yet? Can I move forward now? Thank you. Jeez, man. Every time you talk, more freaking thing, dark spawn pop up. Hey, my visual bugs got fixed. So nice. I just had to restart my computer, apparently. All right, all right. I should probably have turned on the auto loot feature as opposed to picking these up one at a time. Meh. A golem. You can get off my back. Thank you. Those wouldn't have to be better, would they? No. Not too smart. So. Last but not least. I got some life. Not surprising. I do not have a constitution in just general size of the guys do. Ooh. Now's better than later. Holy shit, an entire gold. I'll get on it. Nice. Oh. Large curve crystal. Makes sense that that'd be in a goal.
Now's better than later. I see a trap. Move. Heal if you don't mind. You're stuck in place, you can always be attacking. When you need to leave. happens. Ow. Damn. Holy shit, Win. Let's get a stun here. There was no fall down animation, it just flopped over. <laughs> uh. Cool learning veins. Awaiting orders. Getting closer. I'm gonna load this fight back up. The fact that Wynn instantly died, it's just that that fight might as well have been over. So we can't directly attack this thing. We can only attack the the anvil around it. Here, attack here, attack here, 
I believe the thing is to attack where its eyes are, attack the spirit where its eyes are bleeding. I believe that is the gimmick here. Or eyes aren't bleeding, I should say. That should be, yeah, I should I can activate this one. Hold. Not everyone attack this one. Win, can I get on the field, please? You. I'm gonna attack here. This shield kind of nonsense is annoying. Here. I'm clearly missing something. So now we attack the ones where the eyes are bleeding. Here, please. Get in there. Augur, get in there. No wait. Now I start attacking. Oh. Can be on this side. Yeah. Attack. Attack. Around this side. Attack. Around this side. Attack. There we go. And that should be it. Too bad. All right, all right. Oh, Dwarven Mace. Yep, 
Yeah, the fact that Wind died at the very start just kind of fucked me. And here we are. The, the Anvil of the Void. My name is Karabin. Once, longer ago than I care to think, I was a paragon to the dwarves of Orzammar. Caradon, the Paragon Smith, alive? Ah, there is a voice I recognize. Shell, the House of Kadash, step forward. You know my name. Is it you that forged me then? Is it you that gave me my name? Have you forgotten then? Ah, it has been so long. I made you into the Golem. Before that, you were a dwarf, just as I Boom. was. The finest warrior to serve King Valtor, and the only one to volunteer. The only woman? A dwarf? I laid you on the anvil of the void here in this very room, and put you into the form you now possess. That's right. She has a woman. The anvil of the void. That is what we seek. If you seek the anvil, then you must care about my story. Or be doomed to relive it. You made the anvil, I take Though it. Though I made many things in my time, I rose to fame and earned my status based on a single item, the anvil of the void. It allowed me to forge a man of steel or stone as flexible and clever as any soldier. As an army, they were invincible, but I told no one. No mere smith, however skilled, has the power to create life. To make my golems live, I had to take their lives from elsewhere. That's right. Sounds like blood magic, a dangerous road. The darkspawn were pressing in. Originally, I only took volunteers, the bravest of souls, willing to trade their very lives for the chance to defend their homes. But King Valtor became greedy. He began to force men, castless and criminals, his political enemies, all of them were to be given to the anvil. It took feeling the hammer's blow myself to realize the height of my crimes. So you sealed it away. Well, what now? Do you want revenge? revenge? The blow of the hammer opened my eyes. My apprentices knew enough to make me as I am. But not enough to fashion a control rod. I retained my mind. You were amongst the most loyal, Shea. You remained at my side throughout, and at the end, I sent you away out of mercy. I do not remember. We have remained entombed here ever since, and I have sought a way to destroy the animal. Alas. I cannot do it myself. No golem can touch it. No! The anvil is mine! No one will take it from me! Shale, you fought to destroy the anvil once. Do not allow it to fall into unthinking hands again! You speak of things I do not remember. You say we fought. Did you use our control rods to command us to do so? I destroyed the rods. Perhaps my apprentices eventually learn to replace the rods. I do not know. But if so, then all they need is the anvil to make all the slaves they need. You, please, help me destroy the anvil. Do not let it enslave more souls than it already has. So, oh, actually, no. You were a paragon. I'll help you if you support a new king. Don't listen. He's been trapped here for a thousand years, stewing in his own madness. Help me claim the anvil, and you will have an army like you've never seen. Franca, you mad, bleeding nugtail. Does this thing mean so much to you that you can't even see what you've lost to get it? Look around. Is this what our empire should look like? A crumbling tunnel filled with dark spawn spume? 
The anvil will let us take back our glory. The anvil enslaves living souls. It must be destroyed. So it fights with Caradin. Good. That seems right. Thank you, stranger. Your compassion shames me. No, you will not take it. Not while I still live. Ronka, don't throw your life away for this. We had to destroy the anvil, Just Bronco. give her the blasted thing. She's confused. Maybe once she calms down, we can talk to her. She's obsessed beyond redemption. But you're not the only master smith here, Caradin. Golems, obey me. Attack! A control room? But my friend, you must help me. I cannot stop her alone. <laughs> that snap. Okay, fun fact about what happens here, right? Um, if if you actually decide with Bronca here while having Shell, Shell will immediately betray you, rightfully so, and you lose the access to uh, her for the rest of the game. Also, did you notice how I was trying to do my best to be coy about not really mentioning her gender? Yeah. Is attacking Og Brock. Killed him, Ogre. Alright, let's get him back up. Target you next. Fucking Christ, that was from one ability. Hey, hey Kara, did you wanna maybe maybe help? No? Okay. You don't know what. Okay, hi. Drink this. This. Still can't believe you took out a win in one ability. I mean, it's a smart play to take her out. Just like, God damn. Alright, get back up, win. I mean, you should focus the healer in fights to get them out so they can't heal, but god fucking damn. Golem Registry. Let's see. You see a large stone tablet chipped with age with a great number of dwarven runes carved into the surface. The, the writing is in dwarven and appears a long list of names, each with a stamp of their house next to them. We recognize people with their house names. At the bottom of the list, we honor those who made the sacrifice. Let their names be remembered. The carvings are still deep enough for the tracing to be meant, allowing the information to be carried elsewhere. Ogren, can you tell? Uh, uh, names. Long list of dwarves. Uh, wait, wait, hold on. Uh... We honor who have made this sacrifice. Let their names be remembered. Fart me a lullaby. It's a memorial of all the dwarves who became golems. Has to be. If there was some way of getting this back to the Shaper at Norzmar, I bet they'd brown their trousers and pay good gold for it. 
Probably both. Should he recognize this at all? No. Perhaps it thinks I should. It may have something to do with Carrigan's words. If there is some way to make a copy of these runes, I am willing to study them. Perhaps there is something to be gleaned from them. I know not. Take a tracing of the tablets. Nice. Anvil of the Void. Ammo glows like liquid metal from the lyrium vein throughout it, but dark stains attest to the bloody past. It is built straight out of stone to the floor. Trying to move it would require years to your way out of the base. And yes, I would have had to fight Keridin if I didn't have to uh, fight Bronca there. Another life lost because of my invention. I wish no mention of it had made it. You ain't kidding, stupid woman. Always knew the Amber would kill her. How is it that the woman was not able to disable me as she did you, Carradin? I do not know. Have you been altered? I once had a pathetic little mage of a master. He did something to me, experimented on me, and then I killed him, and it rendered me paralyzed. Hmm. Perhaps he was bringing forth old memories and caused you to remember the time when you fought at my side. The paralysis you speak of always resulted when the master perished. As for your free will, you were always a strong woman, Cher. I am pleased to see you remain such. I don't know what to say. Thank you. And that is why I brought Shell here. Do not thank me. All of this. This is my doing, my legacy. But at least it ends here. I thank you for standing with me, stranger. The anvil waits there for you to shatter it. It was good to meet you, Paragon. I intend to ensure that your warnings about the golems are heard by the Circle of Magi. Is there any boon I can grant you for your aid? A final favor before I am freed from my burden? Governor, you lost Bronca to this. What do you want? Yeah. I don't suppose you can bring Bronca back. Maybe make her a golem like you. I would not do such a thing to her, even if I could. Somehow I didn't think so. Well, and I don't want anything that would remind me of this. Best it's just done. There is still the matter of the election. I mean, we still need a paragon to get the assembly support, right? For the aid you've given me, I shall put Hammer to Steel one last time, and give you a crown for the king of your choice. Thank you. Smithing in video games has always looked weird. What a game where you actually properly armor and weapons look like. Okay, there, it is done. Give it to whom you will. I do not wish to hear their names, nor anything more. Fortunate that I became a salvage. That was my great pride, and soon enough, my shame. But where will you go? You don't mean to. I do. I live to ensure that the anvil was never used again. Now it never shall be. We all must have an end, Cher. May yours.
bullshit I'm able to pick this up. Bullshit I'm able to destroy this anvil. My strength's like 14. You have my eternal thanks, stranger. A trust in all tongue shine. May you always find your way in the dark. Liberator. Well, that pretty much beat the sod out of how I imagined it. You ready to head back yet and share the news? I want to look around a little bit. I wouldn't be in any hurry to get back to the assembly either. Make sure I didn't miss anything here. Yeah, I got the tablets. Destroyed the anvil. Sadly can't like take any of the pieces of the anvil and make a weapon with it. Let's get back to Ors of Mars to quickly the as we can. They need to know as soon as possible. Yeah, those dishers have been trying to destroy the city for years. Haven't managed yet. Yeah. It's always interesting to think they actually added all that dialogue after the fact. Because, again, Shale was a DLC character. It's so strange going from this to the other DLC characters added in video games. Especially other Bioware games. Because, like, Kasumi and Zaid didn't have as much in Dark Souls 2. And the only reason the that uh, Jobic did in uh, right Mass Effect 3... My father has one living child to assume the Idukan throne. Uh, Who didn't have this much in, uh, had, that's why Your Javik had so much in Mass Effect 3, though, because he was a base character, succeed. and they just made you pay for him, even though he was already on the, the disc. Corruption, Lord Steward, but the Grey Warden has returned. Well, Warden, what news do you bring? I brought a, a bear crown from Paragon Cardian for the show. Paragon King. was trapped in the body of a golem. This warden granted him the mercy he sought, releasing him and destroying the Anvil of the Void. Before he died, Caradon forged a crown for Orzammar's next king, chosen by the ancestors themselves. I would like to believe Argren's word, but it's well known the Grey Warden is Balin's hireling. Silence! This crown is a paragon make. Bears House Ortan's ancient seal. Tell us, Warden, whom did Keridan choose? He wished to give it to whoever I chose. Why would a paragon trust someone who knows nothing of us with such a decision? This is preposterous. We've argued in these chambers for too long. The will of the paragon is that the Grey Warden decide. I grant the crown to Balin. At last, this farce has ended, and I can take my rightful place on my father's throne. Again, I only choose Balin, even though he's a massive douche nozzle, because his, I more so agree with his uh, politics, I guess. Because Haramont's a good person overall, but he's too old school. He's not willing to let the system start to change. Like, he'd keep the caste system as it is. He'd let the caste system continue the to be memories, thieves and worthy. not let them be able First to grow. The lords of the house whereas, and he's, he of continues to banish any dwarf who leaves this place. Whereas Balin has a lot more open you policies, you know? Me as king? I cannot defy a paragon. The throne is yours, King Balin. And as my first act as king, I call for this man's execution. Guards, seize him! Hermot was an honorable rival. Let him retire you in peace. You know better than anyone the war facing us, Warden. Orzammar cannot afford to be divided. Anyone undermining my reign is serving only the Darkspawn. I will return to my palace to gather my generals prepare our forces for the service. I will see you there, Warden. You have my gratitude for all you have done for me. 
I'm kind of surprised how open they were to just accept what I was saying was true. Without your aid, that crown looks stupid as fuck on you, by the way. Congratulations, bravo, and I wear my troops. My generals are already preparing for a mission to the surface. When you have need of us, you shall have every able-bodied dwarf in Orzammar. Since you did more than I expected, I offer a personal reward as well. This was a mall favored by my brother Trian. Take it with you as a reminder of your ties to Orzammar. Now I have much to do. If there is nothing else, oh my face on one of the big statues. I'll see what I can do. Now I must address my other petitioners. Come back and visit sometime. Still a douche nozzle, but eh. How's I do? Can owes you for your service. King Balin owes you King Balin will not forget you your will always be remembered as a King friend King of King Balin's reign in long. There are people Bastards. waiting, Warden. I must see to them. Anyway. Uh, boop. 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 I'm probably gonna get evasion next, honestly. Well, no, I don't need evasion. Not that it really matters for you. And that is the entire dwarf quest line. Or Orzmar. Yeah, still hate politics, by the way. Still think they're Garbo. So, uh, yeah, I was thinking. Uh... We've come to know each other fairly well during our time in the Deep Roads. You're bloody fearsome for an elf, and I'm a warrior without a house to defend. Wandering about killing Darkspawn with a sodding Grey Warden sounds like just the thing to keep me occupied. So what do you say? Glad you have you with me, Uncle. Glad I am to hear it. You won't regret it. <laughs> Now, do any of these sad sacks following you around know the first thing about making ale? Eh, never mind. You can stop with the glaring. I'll ask him myself. The throne restored and legends put to rest. Incredible. If I'd heard it secondhand, I'd have called it a sodding lie. Warden, we've got a king because of you. The rest, impressive. But the Legion is grateful most for restored leadership. It frees us to fight to the dark spawn properly. Orzammar's hardly You'll have us too, indirectly. Our place is here. But when you break the blight, we'll make sure the dark spawn have a fine welcome home. It's more guaranteed than any surfacer has had. We need you topside. Show the world your skill. You alone have the skill to back up your words. Each of the Legion owes our homeland a death. But if our lives are better shed on the surface, so be it. Back to Orzammar when we win, though. I'll not stay topside to lose my stone sense. Well, there you go. Okay. Let me see if I can clean up the rest of the quests that are here. Uh, to the shaper it. Are you joking me? Guys, it's over. Come on now. Mind blast. You don't get close. Oh, you got to keep moving. Anyway. So you can get off my back. Assembly. Shaper it. Disgusting. Someone stole from the Shaper it. The memories have never seen such a thing. Did you get a look at look at I did. It happened. Most impressive warden. King Balin's ascent to his father's throne has been recorded in the memories. Is there something more I can help you with? I want to talk about some tracings you might be interested in. 
What's this? A list of names. Most of these clans no longer even exist. Is this authentic? You bet your hairy arse it is. Taken from a tablet in Keridan's fortress, no less. Then is it true? The rumors of Keridan's so-called volunteers? Extraordinary. I would love to make a copy of this. The Shaferit has never had much information on Keridan and his golems, much less proof of this magnitude. Warden, I hope this artifact from our archives will suffice as a reward. I must inform the Shaferit at once. Cool. Hey, Orta, I found your uh, things. I, I started to worry. I didn't know if you were ever coming back. Did you find any records? Any sign of the old Orton Taig? I have the records right here. You found them? Let me see. That's my great-grandmother's name. And her husband! Oh, great ancestors! It's them! It's me! I am an Orton! Oh, thank you! I have to take these to the assembly right away! Find me there! Once these are acknowledged, I'll give you any reward! Alright, to the assembly. I'm mad that game just says he's straight up shady. It's kind of funny, honestly. I'm quite busy. Please do not disturb. Just cleaning up these quests. Assembly. My name's Orta. After the old Orton house, they gave our seat back. And the records show which houses still owe House Orton money. One day, I will be able to properly thank you for all you've done for me. Any money you can spare would help. I don't know what treasure is left, but whatever I get, you can have as much as you want. I'll have to find someone willing to look. Maybe a whole expedition. If the Taig is still there, it must have something. House Orton will not forget this kindness. <laughs> Didn't that sound official? Well, there you go. Hey, five golds. That's always nice. Let's raise up your constitution, honestly. I don't want you to be a uh, battle tactics. Critical strike. So let's see. Augurin, Augurin. Ah. Enemy health. 20% or lower. Usability. Critical strike. Self. Mana stamina level. 74% or higher. Usability. Final blow. Self. HP. 20% or lower. Use most powerful potion. Save there. There we go. Alright, we're good to keep going then. What other quest do I got in here? To its course may bring some peace. In the caves east of the Orontai. Got it. I'll get on. So Orontai and the proving. News of the hour. Lord Balin victorious. Lord Harold. Well, I see what sort of company you've taken up. Bit brute, but eh, fair. Do 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 do. So, I was thinking. Listen, Glenn, I am not interested in your innuendos, your propositions. All your bodily emanations. Huh. But I... Quiet. I just wanted... No. Keep it to yourself. I'm serious. Eh, uh, fine. Good. Thank you. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's 
perverted, but it's also funny. No more matches until the new king decrees it. There will be no new provings until the king announces it. The king just sent word. For my admirable taste in not supporting my cousin's rebellion, I won't be among those executed. We have nothing to talk about, Warden. I haven't done a thing. I Jesus Christ, just immediately in there. I forgot some of my bear or any of my minions do all that nonsense. Jesus Christ. I haven't done anything wrong. We have no business. Unless you want to make a few coins. Not that I'm suggesting anything. But you're holding the prize now. You don't care who gets the shape or tone? I have a collector in mind. Who actually sells the item doesn't matter. It's your call. As always, I let people make their own decisions. I just shut you down yes, hard. well, I'll keep my nose clean until you're long gone. How about that? I'm just a businessman. I merely exploit opportunities. I won't get in your way. Eh. I can't blame a guy for trying to make a buck. Do not disturb me. I must meditate before my fight. I knew Balin would take the crown. But still. All right. Let's head to guys. Okay, yeah. Before we cap this off, let me see if I can finish that thing in aura tag. You're the best wrangler. I trust Bob. And will level up. Nice. Yes. Win. Self. Any. Activate mode. Cleansing aura. Yeah. How much money do you have? 20 reserve, so 369. Now's better than later. Here. Let's see if I can find the last quest in this place. And then we can leave Orzmar. All I had to do was literally get a new king elected. Easy peasy. Sire, I have more news. Um, yes. Well, it seems that the fighting has gone Enough. exactly as you... I would like to know what you intend to accomplish, Father. Should we not be fighting the Darkspawn instead of each other? The nobility should be brought into line and then the Darkspawn defeated. This is no true blight, Honora. Only Kalen's vanity demanded it be so. Beg pardon, Sire. But Blight, or no, we may not have the manpower to face the Darkspawn soon. Kalen approached your legions for support, did he not? Nope. Marek and I drove those bastards out! We will not roll out the welcome for them now! We need help, Father. We cannot deal with this crisis alone. Ferelden will stand on its own! I will lead it through this, Anora. You must have faith in me. Did you kill Kalen? Kalen's death was his own doing. Could even look her in the eye when you say that. Hmm. Interesting.
Now then, there's a quickest way to get to this place. There. Buck's Cave. Warrior's Grave. Why do you occasionally refer to Alistair as a little pike twirler? Why? Is a little pike twirler taking offense? It's just a curious description. Curious? <laughs> nah, it's entirely true. What, you haven't seen him twirling his pike? Goes at it when he thinks no one's watching. <laughs> Knocks about in the trees like there's no tomorrow. Caught him just the other day. Blushed all the way down to his navel. Then couldn't find his shirt. I swear he's gonna hurt himself one of these days. The way he works that thing. I don't want to hear this anymore, do I? I keep telling him pikes are for sticking things at long range, I Horses and such. Not for twirling like a sissy girl. Wait, you're talking about an actual pike? Like a spear? Obviously. <laughs> what else? <laughs> Get your mind out the gutter, Win. <laughs> uh. And bang. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? There we go. Now let's return this book to the shaper, and that is everything. Huh, I didn't realize like a whole shift is just stop in place. Interesting. I think I'm going to spend the next episode, though, just talking to all my companions. Finishing out all their dialogue and shit. Back to Orzmar. Because I have a lot saved up. And don't worry, we didn't forget about Flemeth. We're just saving that. Because it's hard. Just, just trust me. Well, I'm here. You got anything new for I'm, me? I'm only asking because... Let me see your wares. 148. That's a lot of crit and backstab damage. And 87. Towards the diamond quarter. Nope, that's the Hall of Heroes. Here you are. Now's better than later. Come on, guys. News of the hour. Lord Haramont arrested. Thrown into prison, awaiting execution. Epic fail. That feels like slang that shouldn't be here. I mean, the terminology of what he just said is sound. Right. It was a fail of epic proportions, but hearing someone else say epic fail is just weird. You found it. Warden, you have my gratitude. You're a bright spot in an otherwise dark place. Man, you, you can't just burn knowledge like that. Knowledge is meant to be shared. I can't let let it be cornered off. That's how shit. That's how history gets lost. News of the hour. All hail King Balin Idukan, the worthiest warrior. And there uh, we go. Mind Blast is pretty good, yes. I keep turning back to make sure I'm not missing any dialogue. That is one thing I really liked about Dragon Age Inquisition. 
when they were doing dialogue appear right here at the bottom of the screen so that you knew to turn around and look at them you remember your old master's name right and everything about him is it still going on about my memory such focus must be incredibly difficult for it to maintain you don't remember killing him or how you got all free willed or anything but you do remember the next 30 years more or less my former master did something to me which I do not remember. What is its point? Uh, how could you know he did something to you unless you remember it? Let us, for argument's sake, assume it is correct. I murdered the fool on purpose and remember it. Why would I lie? Because you... Uh, could do it again. Yes. I waited 30 years biding my time until I could strike. Soon my betrayal shall be complete. Exactly. I knew it. Ha! Well, do not tell anyone. I want it to be a surprise when it happens. <laughs> God damn it, Shale. Uh, no wonder you're so sassy. Is that sexist? A little bit. Give me a moment. Everything all right? Of course everything's all right. Yeah. Uh, just give me one sodding moment. By the stone. I feel like I'm about to fall off the world with all that sky up there. Take your time. I need you ready to if fight. I could fight Randar Volney second after downing 15 lichen ales in half an hour. <laughs> I'm not going to be put off by a high sodding ceiling. Well, let's get moving. We're losing, what you call it, daylight. All right. And we're going immediately to camp. We got gear to pass out. <clears throat> Leather helmets. Tester's gloves. Nope. Nope. And nope. Next. Nothing for me there. Next. Gloves of the Legion. Helm of the Legion. Boots of the Legion. And... Armor of the Legion. Perfect. Nature damage. Uh, does anyone actually do nature damage on my team? You don't. You do with this staff, right? Technically. So you can have this. And I guess I'll give you this, because why not? Alright, Augrin. Let's see your weapon. Better Maul. Next. No weapons for you. No armor for you. Nothing for Morgan then. Next. Sten. Nope. N nope. Spent too much time getting this bloody body armor that I guess I just don't need anything else. Sten. How about this Forge Master's hammer? It is worse. Okay. Next. Eliana. Both worse. Oathkeeper also worse. Uh, nothing there. How about armor? Better. Worse. Worse. And no gear there. Next. Alstar. Nothing there. How about the Bronco shield? Uh, no. Why would you even why would it even buff your chance to fight that strange? Armor increase. Armor increase. Armor increase. Why would Kaylin's gloves give backstab damage? 
Oh, because he got... Okay, that's fucked up. Because he got backstabbed. That's real fucked up, game. Yo, what the fuck, man? I think we're fire. How about you, Zevran? Mm, nope. 31 strength for that. In fact, let's go back to Alistar then. Yeah, let's take actually that. So that you can take Duncan's sword as opposed to Bloodline. Shape Ritz Blessing. Whatever. Nope. Nope. Eh, I'm gonna keep doing entirely light armor. Nope. Nope. Next. Alright. Everything else can be sold then. Something you need? I'm I need an enchantment. Enchantment? I need to take out all of this extra stuff from these. Okay, now I can sell everything. Thank you. You and your friends are full. I'm Literally made by dwarves and shit. Sells for fucking garbage. Uh, Dragon Age in a nutshell. Gifts. Who would want these? So, golden rope necklace. Golden rope necklace goes to Morgan. Not surprised there. A fine gift. You have and my thanks. And the medium silver bar is probably like a universal one. Oh no, it's Severin. Hmm. You have excellent taste. Okay. And with that, we can sign off. There we go. So we're going to return, we're just going to spend an episode just relaxing, chilling with all our party members and talking to everyone, learning how they feel about what's going on in the world. Either way, I want everyone out there to have a good morning, evening, day, or night, wherever you're at. But for right now, I'm out. Later.